Hey there and welcome back. Today we will be discussing Gungam Burgess classification of pelvic fractures. If you have not seen my previous reel of applied anatomy of the pelvic ring, I highly recommend watching it as it will make this classification easier to remember. In Younger Burgess classification, there are four types of pelvic fractures according to the mechanism of injury and stability of the pelvic ring. They are anteroposterior compression, lateral compression, vertical shear, and combined mechanical. Each mechanism is further broken down into subtypes. We will split this reel into two parts as not to make it long. First, let's have a look at the ABC types. In ABC1, there is always a superficial ligament injury or longitudinal pubic rami fracture, which might progress into injury of the sacrospinous, sacrotuberous, and anterior sacroiliac ligaments. And finally, if the forces of the trauma causes injuries of the posterior sacroiliac ligaments, this will be called APC3. Now let's put that into practice. In APC1, either symphysial diastasis will be less than 2.5 cm or there will be vertical fractures of the pubic rami. In APC2, symphysial diastasis will be more than 2.5 cm, there will be widening of the sacroiliac joint, and since there are intact posterior sacroiliac ligaments, the fracture will be vertically stable, stationally unstable. In APC3, you will find lateral displacement of the pelvis on the radiographs. Keep in mind that APC3 is completely unstable, rotationally and vertically, with the highest rate of blood loss and chop. For more explanation about open book injuries, recheck our small talk that we had earlier. That's it for today, and as always, thanks for watching, till next time.